really like Cinerama because of its high technology. It was way ahead of its time. Welcome to my Cinerama theater. I saw Cinerama first time when I was in Toronto, 16 years old, I went to the Eglinton Theatre and they ran Wonderful World of the Brothers Grimm. I came out of there entranced. I was shaking my head saying, now what are they going to do? They've done it all. Are they going to make another movie? <laughs> Brothers Grimm was uh, filmed in, on location in Germany. It was like being in Germany for three hours. The sound was all around you. The picture was wrapped around you. Full color, never saw that before. Over the internet, I encountered uh, Cinerama fans around the world. Uh, in the United States, a colleague of mine, he had access to Cinerama negatives, so we started cleaning them up and uh, eventually restoring them into uh, original, better than original quality. Warner Brothers provided uh, digital scans of the negatives for us. To restore this film, uh, we spent hours and hours. I probably worked 12 to 18 hours a day at times. I started doing this project in uh, 2006 had the screen completed, I think, in 2008. The screen is uh, regular movie screen material cut into narrow louvers. There's 1,200 of them in a 21-foot screen, seven foot high. The Cinerama camera was a single unit with three Mitchell cameras mounted on a aluminum frame, each one pointing in a different direction, 55 degrees apart. It went away because uh, it was a presentation problem. Uh, not every theater had three projectors and seven speakers all around. It's a little bit of history. A lot of the Cineramas were travelogues. This was 1952, 19. 62. And uh, the, this has all been captured on Cinerama. Excellent quality. They're very pleased. Uh, the reviews were excellent. The sales are great. So uh, it turned out to be a real success. And they made essentially seven movies. I think we've got them all. <laughs> 